Good morning. It is Saturday morning. It's a little after 7.30. I have not spoken yet this morning, so we are out of coffee beans, and they don't come in until today, so I thought it'd be a good opportunity to walk to go get coffee. It's probably about a 30-minute walk. It's really not that far. I don't know. Maybe it's like 20, 25 minutes, but it's like through this beautiful part of town where I live, so... It's really like a scenic walk. It's really nice. You walk by tons of nice houses and then you get into like a little town almost. I haven't done this in a while, um, but I thought I'd take the, the perfect opportunity to go and get outside. It's kind of cold this morning. It's in the 50s, which is weird for Florida, so I'm probably going to put something on over my sports bra, but... I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to go and get outside, get a coffee, come back, and just have a little morning. Christian is sleeping, so that's also why I'm kind of whispering, but yeah, so that's what we're doing this morning. I look kind of sleepy, my hair is so dirty, so a hat, <laughs> I put on some sunscreen, and I'm going to put on something over this because the 50s is a little bit cold to me. To be walking in so yeah so i thought i'd bring you guys along on a little slow morning to go get some coffee <laughs> Okay, this is the area where I come. It's Baldwin Park area, and I came to Cafe 906. And it's so pretty because it's right on the water. That's Lake Baldwin. So I walked here, got a vanilla latte with almond milk. It's so good. And you just can't beat like this morning view. It's so stunning. This coffee shop right here is also really good. It's a little bit farther away from that other coffee shop, which was way down there by the water. But this one's also really good too.
Okay, we just got back from Sprouts. We spent way too long in there. I think <laughs> Christian is having fun because he, he doesn't always come to the grocery store with me, but when he does, I feel like we always spend a really long time in there. But um, we were looking at everything. This was our first time going to the Sprouts. It just opened up right by our place. So we're really excited about it. Well, at least I am. We got some of their sushi. We haven't tried their sushi. So we got spicy tuna roll. This is Christian and I's favorite roll. And then we just got a veggie roll. Some of these chips because we got some salsa. So we got these nacho grain free tortilla chips. And then these I think we have tried before and they're really good. Just some other stuff that I'm not gonna show. I saw this and I have been craving like a grape soda or like an, I've also been craving an orange soda. So I saw this right when we walked in and I had to pick it up. I love Olipop, I love Poppy. I love these types of drinks for soda substitutes. Got this salsa, the roasted, how do you say this? Tomatillo? Tomatillo. Tomatillo. <laughs> Tomatillo. Tomatillo salsa. And then some taco seasoning. We wanna do tacos maybe some night this week. And then this is the almond milk that I decided to go with. It has really good ingredients. If you guys know, I drink the milk milk and they don't have that at Sprouts, but they have Three Trees, which is also a great brand, simple ingredients. So it just shows on the side, just has filtered water and almonds. And then this one sounded so good, vanilla bean. Oh my gosh. Same thing, super simple ingredients, water, almonds, organic vanilla extract, organic vanilla beans. So I'm excited to try these. I'll probably try the vanilla bean one tomorrow morning, so I'll let you guys know how it is. But we're gonna snack on some lunch. one of those days where nothing looks good nothing looks right your hair's not right your makeup's not right no outfit fits right oh this is rough oh I hate these days I hate feeling like this anyways we put on an outfit I just stuck with this outfit I haven't felt like myself today I've just I like look in the mirror and I'm like not liking my makeup my hair is looking weird and different, maybe because I haven't curled it. I don't know. And then, I don't know. You know these days, you know these days. These days are just, I think my period's coming. So, just throwing an outfit, we're going to meet Taylor. We're gonna have a great night. We're gonna go get some Mexican food. I know, we had Mexican food last weekend. <laughs> but we're going to get some Mexican food. We have never tried this restaurant. It's Cocina, is that how you say it? Is it Cocina? Okay, uh, we're going to Cocina 214. We're gonna have a great night. I'm gonna try and snap out of, I don't know why I feel so off and weird and like, so I'm excited. I love Mexican food. And we're gonna see Taylor, even though I see her five days a week. <laughs>
Okay, just made breakfast. We had bacon for breakfast. I'm gonna light a candle to kind of help with the smell, even though the bacon smell is not necessarily a bad smell. It just kind of takes up the whole entire apartment. I finally got one of these wick trimmers off Amazon. Don't know why, haven't purchased one before. Because if you don't have one, as you can see, the candle starts to burn unevenly. And with this, you can kind of lengthen the life of your candle and help it burn more easily and get the most fragrance, so I read, out of each candle. And this candle probably wasn't expensive, but if you do purchase expensive candles, this is something that you should look into. It's only $7 off Amazon. I'll link this exact one down below, but it just helps with the life of your candle. And trust me, if you are spending a lot of money on candles, it would probably be good to look into. So I'll link it. Definitely will help. I mean, this candle might be far gone, so it might not do much to help with this candle, but at least for new candles that I buy or set out in light, this will help with the life of them. So I'm gonna light a candle to help with the bacon smell, but I did wanna share because I finally <laughs> purchased one and would have been nice to have probably a little while ago. I am going to grab a lighter. This is the lighter that I use. It's chargeable. Never have to worry about buying another lighter. You just recharge it and it lights the candle. I got off Amazon. I have it linked in my Amazon favorites video, which I filmed a few months ago. But this is such a game changer because you never have to worry about your lighter running out. It tells you when it's going to die. So right now it's fully charged, but it will blink or it will get down to this light and that's how you know you need to charge it. So I love this, I'll link it and then I'll also link this down below. So I wanted to update you guys on the milk that I bought yesterday. I tried this vanilla bean almond milk by Three Trees and I don't know if the way that I frothed it made me not be able to taste it at all, but I used my Nespresso frother I actually kept it when I sold my machine just because this is easier and I can cold froth with this and you can't cold froth with the Breville machine. So that's why I kept it. And you also don't need a lot of milk to froth in here. And with this machine, you have a minimum that you can put in. So that's another reason why I kept this and I froth this in here because there's not a lot that comes in this container and honestly this is almost seven dollars per bottle so that's pretty pricey in my opinion for almond milk and the milk almond milk is I think a dollar cheaper and you get more in it so I wanted to use this so that way I didn't have to pour a lot of it into the frother to froth it but this froths so much that I, it was completely all foam when I frothed it in my Nespresso frother. So I feel like I didn't really get a good taste from it. But um, I'll try it tomorrow morning and I'll put on the screen how I feel about it right here. Based on my taste or me trying it tomorrow with my coffee. So I don't really know. I didn't really taste vanilla bean. Okay, we're gonna cook some salmon for lunch. Just getting the tray ready. This is what we're going to put on it. We got it yesterday at Sprouts. So we're gonna cook the salmon with just a little bit of this on it and make some spicy garlic edamame. That might be like a weird combination, but it sounds good. So we'll let you guys know if this is good on top of the salmon. We're gonna bake it in the oven. I have the oven preheating to 425 and we're gonna cook it for about 15 to 18 minutes. And that will be our lunch. Okay, I'm meal prepping our lunches for the week. 
I've shared this recipe before, but it's just ground turkey and then I season it and then I add um, sesame oil and liquid aminos. It's just simmering for a little bit. And then I am also cooking this Asian wok quinoa blend. I'm using our caraway pans. I did a video with them last month and I love this big pan because it allows me to cook two pounds of ground beef in it and they're non-stick. So I have a coupon code that is active and it works on their site. I will link it down below. This has changed the game for meal prep. It cuts time in half because of how big the pan is and how quickly the pan heats up and how evenly it cooks the food. So I'm just cooking this right now and then I'm gonna add some veggies to it. These are veggies that I'm gonna cook after I'm done with the rice or the quinoa blend but So I just finished meal prepping our lunches for the week. I think they turned out really good and I think they will taste good too. But we're about to head out to dinner. But I wanted to share, I didn't really know that, was it FedEx or UPS? FedEx, I didn't know they delivered on Sundays. I know that Amazon does, but I didn't know that FedEx did as well. But I got new shoes and I feel like such a cool girl and I feel like my style though I feel like I need new clothes to match the shoes but they're this vintage green color you have tan right here and then they're white I and then the laces are tan as well to match the tan right here I got them in a five and a half I have really small feet but I think they are available on GOAT. I can link them for you on GOAT or StockX wherever I find them. They are so cool. And I love this green color. I'm such a fan of green. When I saw these, I instantly fell in love. Wanted to share. We're going to go to dinner. We're going to go to Blaze Pizza. But I'm excited to wear these and have them. dinner we're gonna make some bone broth drinks so we have these little cups these are about a cup so they're perfect I got them off Amazon I can link them okay so Christian just put some black pepper in it and then we're gonna put some turmeric and then cayenne pepper, and then half a lemon. Um, you put it in the microwave for a minute, probably 10 seconds. Which one was yours? This is what they look like. Let's focus. <laughs> this is what they look like. Okay, just made the bed. I just put my silk pillowcases on my pillows. I swear by these, they're so good. They're by the Slip brand, I can link them. I just wanted to go ahead and end off this video. It's a little bit after nine, so I am super ready to shower, take my makeup off, do my skincare, and get in bed, and start another work week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you're give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!